Hi there guys and girls, I thought I would uh, spend a little bit of time showing you a few tips and techniques quickly in After Effects. I'm going to be as quick and as brief and concise as I can. I understand some people when they're teaching these tutorials tend to drag on a little bit too much. Uh, mention no names. So what we'll do is create a new composition, any size will do. I'll tend to pick my favourite, which will be HDTV. Don't worry about the duration or the uh, uh, frame rate. So, uh, if we create a shape layer, say it be a rectangle, ellipse, polygon, whatever, even the star tool will work. Click and drag. If you hold down uh, Command Option Shift Drag, it will drag out from the center when you start dragging it. Um, so we click and drag out in a shape. Now hidden away in any shape layer, you'll find a command just here where it says Add. It might read something slightly different on different versions, but it has been here for quite a few versions of After Effects now. And under the Add button, We've got some commands um, from rectangle, merge paths, etc, etc. The one I want to talk about is trim paths. If you select trim paths and you have a stroke around the edge of your object, so what I'll need to do is just remove the fill and add a stroke so that you can actually here to a colour that it likes. And at that point, my machine decided it was going to OK. All right, we're back in business here. So uh, we've got a nice chunky line there. We're just going to tweak the inner radius. so that, it, Like I say, we start with any sort of shape. And then um, under here, we've got something called trim paths. Now, at the moment, if I alter this value here, what it'll do is it will, as it says, surprise, surprise, trim paths. Uh, and of course, because you've got a stopwatch next to each of these, you can animate it. So if you wanted to animate a drawing line, simply animate this value here. So once again, that's hiding under the Add button down here. A lot of people miss this Add drop-down menu. It's hiding away here. If you can't see that, you might well have shrunk it away underneath your commands in the bottom left hand corner. So expand or collapse your switches pane to suit and then you'll find it in there. And the offset command can be used to create a dashed line effect. So say for instance if, uh, if you applied this trim path to just a section like that you could then create that sort of effect and simply by repeating this uh, polystar a few times and uh, creating a few of these uh, you can create that star spangled effect okay so that's uh, one little tip I wanted to share with you another little tip I, I'd like to share with you is um, text along a path uh, I've been asked this one a few times and uh, let me show you a little technique I use and I use it in my tutorials um, start off by drawing a simple shape layer of a stroke like this. Um, you could have uh, brought it in from a, another program to like uh, Illustrator, but start off with a, a path like that, and then uh, say I wanted to run some text along it. Create your text just by clicking somewhere in here. So we go along path. I'll make it a little bit smaller so we can actually see it sitting on the path and then we need to marry the two together so what we need to do is we need to fool um, we need to fool After Effects into thinking that this uh, text layer has got a path so this is the trick what we do is we have the text selected and I draw a dummy path now don't worry about where the dummy path is it can be any random path so long as you've got a path on it, a mask path on it. So when I open up the path attributes down here in the timeline, you'll see that under here we've got a mask. Now I'm going to drill down a little bit further into where it says mask path. That's the secret here because this mask path here can be pasted into from the shape layer. 
So I'm now going to drill down into the shape layer and find the path here. Now this path can be copied and pasted into this path here. Simply by selecting this path, copy on your keyboard, and then selecting this path here and paste. It will never line up precisely, but that's easy enough to fix. All we do is we move the path along so that it corresponds with the original path. So now we can align, uh, now we've aligned the text and the, uh, the path, all we do is we come under text and under path options, so you see I'm drilling down here and into the, uh, the text attributes, under path and path options I can now select that path that's been pasted in and it comes in as a mask. So I now select mask one and voila. There we go, it's on its path and it's identical to the shape layer that I've drawn behind there. So I can now animate these attributes here and move the path along there. And if anybody's ever seen Catch Me If You Can credits, it's uh, very similar to some of the animations that are created along there. So um, there you go guys, another quick tip and uh, I reckon that'll do you for the moment. I'll be back with another one shortly. Many thanks for watching this tutorial on After Effects. I've also done some Cinema 4D tutorials as well. You'll find them in the same place on Bendale TV. And also you'll find some samples of my work and recent projects that I've done for both clients and personal projects as well. So stay tuned to Bendale TV and I'll leave you with a piece that I've been working on earlier on this year and if there are any requests at all for any of the techniques that I've used in either Cinema 4D or After Effects please drop me a line and I'm more than happy to help out. I teach here in the UK and uh, you can contact me and arrange lessons whether it be on site or in our uh, fully equipped studio. Alright, thank you very much.